Brian Eldridge, the Nerds on Call, here to explain it all to us this morning. Good morning, sir. How are Good you? Good morning. Good to so see you. Okay. First, first things first, this is not a huge deal. I, I, really? It sounds like it's super scary. Yeah, it gets yes. a lot of good big headlines. Uh -huh. But first, these rules were enacted in October of, of 2016, okay. and they never went into effect. So all that's been happening all along is uh -huh. still happening. So it's not like anything big has changed. We don't have to freak out. Here's the other thing. Nobody's going to be able to say, here's where Ken Rudolph went on the internet yesterday and, and look at it. That's good. That, you can't do that. So we still have certain protections. What this does is appeals back a layer of regulation for uh, what Republicans are calling essentially an agency that had no authority to police, right? So the FTC is what protects us on our privacy. So when Vizio got caught searching and yes. seeing what we were watching and reporting that. that. Yeah. yeah. So the FTC is the one who enforced that, sued them, cost them $2 million or something. And that's really who should be enforcing this sort of thing. The FCC is really all about just monitoring communications and, and things like that. So it's not there to protect us. But uh, Wheeler, who was the old FTC chair, he decided, well, the FTC is not doing enough. And what, what's wrong with more protections, right? right? So let's get more protections. Yeah. And so he enacted all these rules. And so, of course, Republicans are repealing this. So here's what it really does. It allows uh, um, your ISPs to report or to sell your... Uh, data for uh, of where you've been, where you've done, what you've looked at, um, your demographic data, things like that. But they can't necessarily say this is where Ken went, and then and and sell that kind of information to to, to an individual user. Does that kind of make sense? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So it would be like this many users from this area were looking at these sites. Is exactly. That so it, it's one of the biggest problems is with your cell phone, right? Your cell mm. phone is your most personal device ever. It has everything on it, and it tracks where you are and what you're doing. Yeah. And so. As, a, as an advertiser, let's say you're Walmart, and you say, I want to know who's coming into my store, what their age is, and then I want to know what they searched for so I can make my store just a little better for that individual that comes in there. That kind of makes sense. Here's one of the other big problems with, with uh, restricting the, uh, the use of this data. Google and Facebook already knows everything you're doing. They already do. 90% of every ad dollar spent on the web, it goes to Google and Facebook. And nice. so if you're logged into Facebook or you're logged into Gmail, they're already tracking all of your user data and stuff. But here's the big kicker. You have the chance to opt out of that. You can say, I'm not going to use Facebook. I'm not going to use Google. I'm not going to use Gmail. And therefore, you protect yourself. With the ISPs, you can't opt out of it. And that's a really big problem. So in 2011, Verizon and a couple other companies got in big trouble for what they called, uh, well, actually in 2014, uh, it's called a super cookie. And they put it on your, on your web browser and it tracked everything you did and reported it back. And there was no way to delete it or opt oh. out of it. So as, as Americans, one of the things we like to do is protect our privacy. And we want to be able to say, hey, that's okay. You can track me, Facebook, because I like your product. Right. But once your ISP does it without your permission, yeah. that kind of angers people. I want to say really bad word, but that really makes some oh, people yeah. very angry. And, and so if you want to do something about it, here's some really cool stuff you can do. So Facebook, uh, oddly enough, came out with a new, a new service called Town Hall. And it's just in your settings. If you just go down to settings, click Town Hall, you can contact every single member of your Congress or State Senate, Assembly, anything. It's all right there. You can literally click it, email them, call them, text them, get on their Facebook page. And if you're angry about this, do something about it. Just say, hey, this isn't cool. I'm not happy about it. I want FCC to protect me, just like the FTC does. Exactly. So, wow. That okay. makes sense? I, and that it, makes great sense. I think another one of the things angry about this is a brew and super cookie from now on. That used to be an exciting <laughs> thing. Well, Marianne, Marianne was asking about VPNs. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know how much time we have, but Marianne was asking about VPNs and will this protect me and can I, can I mask my, my usage of the Internet using a VPN? And you certainly can, but here's the thing. VPNs are seeing all your traffic and they're less likely to be watched over by the FTC. And so when you send your traffic to this VPN service or a free VPN, VPN service, you could be just handing your data over to a, a bad guy or criminal or anyone else that, that wants to buy the data from them. Your ISP is at least regulated to some extent. We know they, that there's enough people watching them that they're not going to do something super terrible. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but well, it's, you think But terrible? it's creepy. Here's, yeah. a, here's another example. This is one of the things that in 2011 that happened. This was super terrible. So let's say you went to Google and you typed in, you know, oh, I want to know who is uh, running for office this, this year because I want to know who my local representative is. Well, Verizon was sending that search query directly to another, comp uh, another company. And that company then would look at that search query and then rather than sending you to Google, would send you to the page they want you to go to. Yes, uh, exactly. Yeah. So this could, if, if used for evil, it could influence elections, 
consumer uh, stuff. So let's say Netflix pays Verizon to suppress all of their competitors, like Hulu, let's say. Now, I want you to suppress all searches on Hulu and paid them to do it. They could, technically. Yeah. I mean, FTC, the FTC would have to come in and say something, but it's possible it, with these kinds of protections repealed. So we have to keep those things in mind. Awesome. Ryan, always good. Always great information. Mm -hmm. I feel like Thank I learned you. something. Thank Sparks you. a whole other conversation <laughs> yeah. I've got to have for another hour. 749 here on this Thursday morning. Calling all